Okay, happy Sunday. Um, it was very, I can't say it's impromptu, this is scheduled. I don't know if everyone thought I'd go live today because there's not an actual chapter today. I have to burp. I can't burp. Oh, what's up, Julian? I have the burp. It's not gonna come out, it's gonna torture me. Um, I never made it a, a scene, man. There we go. Oh, hey, how's it going? All right. There's no chapter today, but if you didn't know, two weeks ago, I lost like my computer and ended up dying. So I had to re-image, do all this stuff. Goodness gracious, there it is. Huh. But to re-image, I had to do all these things. Um, went down for a week, so I missed 372 last week. Um, at the usual time. So, in this week off, I might as well just go live so I can catch back up so that we can keep going with the flow when um, the chapter drops next week. So, um, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to do that for both this and gun. Worked out. Um, all right. Um, I, I don't need to. I'm just going to sit here and think, like, what happened last time? I remember what happened last time. Um, one thing that I ended up realizing, I didn't realize it um, when we first got into this arc with this guy. Well, I can't remember his name. The dude that's talking to everyone, like Spinner saying stuff and all the, the masses are like, hey, he doesn't care about us. And then he's like, but no, like that guy. I was like, oh, his design is kind of cool. Yada, yada, yada. Watching the anime this week, one of the guys that's running in the forest that are a part of the murder gaggle that end up killing midnight he was a part of them so now i want him to die a horrible death he doesn't deserve to make it out he needs to go i don't care if he didn't do anything he was running with the guy that did something so he is guilty by association he needs to go one thousand percent there's no if, ands, or buts about it. He needs to, he needs to go. Like for real, for real. Like this is garbage. I was like, I, I kind of enjoyed him last chapter. I, he, he needs to cease existing. Effective immediately, please and thank you. All right, three seventy two. <laughs> like I'm so serious. I didn't realize it until I'm watching him. And I'm like. He's familiar. And I'm like, he's the guy from last the last couple chapters. Completely just ruined it. anything. Anything that I could have felt for him is gone now. What's up, Madonna Shonen? Oh, talk about the anime. The anime's been fantastic. We could babble for 10, 15 minutes. The frame rate looks a little shaky. Is it okay? It's shaky on my screen, but I'll I'll deal. Um, we could talk about the anime forever. The anime's firing off on all cylinders just incredible um next week should be next week's gonna be fun it's two weeks two weeks is the one okay thank you two weeks is the one i have hold on just said i wasn't gonna I'm gonna do this. hold on hold on hold on so 270 we just did 276 right 276 is disaster walker no 276 i figured i should put this in the discord but um, what they're doing in the anime is they're adapting like two and a half chapters per episode outside of like the four when there's a lot of action going on. We're adapting like two and a half chapters. So last week we we did a bunch of scenes like all this Endeavor, Shigaraki, um, high end, the near high ends, a bunch of that stuff from 276 was... um was um uh, some well some of this stuff was last week and when i was like i was like oh i was like they didn't do the helicopter stuff or anything so i'm like the next episode's gonna start with the helicopter stuff and i'm like aha it did so now 276 let's look at 277 277 we did we did all of 277 and then we're gonna look at 278 and then we did all of 278 yes we did all of 278 and um 
we um we ended the episode ended exactly here. I got this I got this one episode right when I was playing it originally. It's the only thing I got right. <laughs> so now next week is going to be 279 and it's we are you see, if you watch the preview um you've seen Jiro jumping towards um jumping towards Makia's um face and then they also show the flashback as well and the flashback happens in 280. So we're going to cover 279 and 280 and then we they also showed Shigaraki kneeling on the ground in the preview if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to get all the Red Riot stuff happening. The Shigaraki kneeling on the ground is going to happen. And then we're going to we're going to pick and choose from 281 what we're going to do. So what I'm expecting what I'm expecting to happen next week is Shigaraki's we're going to cover 280, 279 280 and then we're going to come to the end of 280. What would be 280? We're going to cover this first page that we're looking at right here. So it's going to be this. We're going to cover the Shigaraki scene. I, I would assume this this panel right here. I do this. Then um, moving forward, we're, we're just picking, we're only picking like two or three panels. If, if you really wanted to, yeah, no, you're, we're, that's pretty much it. They're probably going to just flush out the Shigaraki thing. So 280 is going to, it's going to wrap. We're going to come back that last panel of 280. We're going to cover that. And then we're going to cover page two page three page two page three page four and page five uh, and i think that's gonna be it be and then the start of next week is going to go the start of next week is going to be um the start of two weeks from now will be torino going down in the first part of the episode we're gonna cut to this endeavor shot i feel like we're gonna go to 282 and then yeah 282 yep and then let me look at 283 we're picking and choosing what from 283 what we're gonna show There's a chance we do all of 283. There's a chance we go bang, 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 bang. And we do three episodes. Okay. That's all I got. Three chapters, I mean. Like three full chapters and not two and a half. But yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking for the anime. Alright. I've babbled enough. <laughs> Alright, um 372! 372, 372. Alright, um. <sighs> we getting some more Shoji stuff. Um we had um Coda with I think his quirk awakening and we were hypothesizing so many different things that he possibly could do with this quirk. I wonder if we're going to get some explanation for that today. I feel like we're going to, I wonder. All right. I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited. All right. 372. <sighs> Please assign us to defending central hospital. Oh, this is right before. How did you find out? We never told you about. That large woman said something, tr said some troubling things, excuse me. So I asked her more about what's going on out there. All right, the big lady. Plus some of the other, plus some of the refugees mentioned something about a call to action. That's how we learned that a group of heteromorphs are going after the hospital. And Koda's like, if Shoji's going, then so am I. All right, next page. Naked, 372, naked. Standing back while this plays out would mean I could never call myself a hero. Wow. Oh, hold on. Mike and um and um Aizawa. We spread false rumors about where he was transferred. 
but the enemy didn't take the bait. Yamada, I hate to ask, but can you be there to support the boy? So Mike's here as well with all the heteromorph stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Know this, Aizawa Sensei. They say quirks get stronger by the generation. These kids, no. These young men are already way stronger than we were back in our day. As the three Domingos. <laughs> the three Domingos. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at Coda, man. He looks kind of cool standing here. I'm not. This panel of him is kind of cool. But the but the thing. What? Oh, did I just turn the page? What just happened? What, what just happened? Two pages? He looks kind of cool. All right, next page. Oh, 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 oh. One day, Koji, your horns might grow in two. Oh. And with these horns, you'll be able to beam your thoughts and feelings to animals that are even farther away. Oh. Your mama has had to put up with some real cruelty because of the way she looks. But your dad got so riled up on my behalf. He told those awful people not to mock my amazing horns. Interesting. Koji, it's okay to be mad. Grow up to be a man who gets mad when people mock something or someone dear to you. Hitchcock. Octo. Oh. Combo move? Or the, no, not combo move. I'm stupid. So Hitchcock birds. Hitchcock birds. Wow. And Octo Spansion. Dog, he boomed. <laughs> he boomed Spinner, bro. <laughs> wow, Hitchcock birds. That's kind of scary. <laughs> if you don't know, if you haven't seen um, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds or know the um, source material behind it, that movie was freaky as a kid. All them damn birds everywhere, freaky. I'm not going to lie. I would be kind of creeped out too if there was all these. I need a, I need a better panel though. Show me, like we got this panel, right, with all this. Show me the whole sky blotted out. Make, make it terrifying. Show me the whole sky being blotted out by birds. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's knocked the scales off of the spinner. Hmm. What will you choose to protect with those scales and that giant body? Tell me, spinner. He's crying. He's screaming, calling out to everyone. The rest of you, too. What are you hoping to protect with your gifts and your power? We got, um, Evil Laser Aoyama. I have to. <laughs> Don't let them exploit your wounds. Oh my gosh. Your children might be the next target. Dog, he is. Wow. Dude, he's just screwed. If I'd never fell in that river, they never, never would have hurt your face and made it all scary. Wow. Be better than mere Avengers. And then Spinner. Spinner says the grudge never fades. Oh, he's, he's talking. Hold on. Spinner's saying something too. If heroes win the day, nothing will ever change. Oh, it's the call to action. We heard that. We heard that night. For the crime of walking in public, they sprayed me with pesticide. When they hit us, we hit them back. 
he really looks like he doesn't even look like Spinner anymore. That's sad. Like he's got scales on his tongue. That doesn't even look like him anymore. Brethren, be heard and follow me. Even stronger now with enough power to crack the concrete. Yeah, like he doesn't even look recognized. That's sad. Like, at least he at least looked a little bit like Spinner before. Now he doesn't even look like Spinner anymore. And from this panel right here. Sad. Are they not listening? Or are they all? They got, they got amped up. Yeah, they got amped up from what Spinner's. Damn it. They're even more fired up. Too many of them can't take much more guns who got a gun who's got a gun cut off oh snap oh snap oh snap so i'm like who got it? i'm like who has a gun oh snap they bust straight to the hospital. He slammed, slammed that the cop, I think. Right? He slammed that cop. Yep. Curl Gary was transferred to the research ring. Wing. Wing. Once you reach him, play a recording of either my or Tomora's voice. Curl Gary's quirk will bring this conflict to an end. He said they... He said that he wasn't able, they weren't able to get there, get the transfer. Oh, wait, are there but all the heteromorphs? Is all like all like our heteromorphs and and regular people? Well, not regular people. Are the heteromorphs hand in hand with people that aren't heteromorphs? I don't, what do you call people that aren't heteromorphs? <laughs> what do you call them? All for tomorrow's sake, you will become a hero. Spinner, man. Hold on. I never thought I, I, I never thought I thought I'd never get to be anyone. Well, the it's a, that works. But by following you, maybe I can really be someone. Shigaraki, just watch me. I got my allies behind me. That's sad. That just hurt my heart. <laughs> that just hurt my heart. Oh, that just hurt my heart. That, that sucks. That sucks. Like that legit hurt my heart. <laughs> oh man. Shoji must have gotten through to them. And listen, that guy in there ain't going to be your ace and all his Mike. Oh boy. And there was no one behind him. He was doing all this thinking that the whole, that everyone was was charging right behind him. Yep, it's Mike. Mike, what took you so? Was that whole, okay. I was, I was, okay. I thought, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that President Mike was the one with the gun, which means he's about to make the smartest decision of anyone in the show so far. I, hold on. That's a, that's a great, oh, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need I'm a I'm a I need the Google mics design. Because I think you're I think you're right too. Um present mic. Even though we there's a panel of him earlier in the chapter. I think it is mic. It one hundred percent is mic. Yeah, I just, I just had four seconds. What's up, Frogly Master? I'm like, I just need. To, I'm like, does he wear fingerless gloves? I'm like, it's Mike. You think he blank? Yo. But the but the he's right there. A a bullet isn't gonna stop Spinner, unless it's like a quirk racing bullet. Unless for uh, they somehow recreated that, too. But hold on, is not nah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's what I'm thinking too. Um. My question is, I'm looking at this final panel. The right side, it, that's Spinner. That's Spinner yelling Kuro Geary, right? The left panel, is that Mike yelling Shirakumo? If that's the case, Spinner, well, Spinner's brain is mush. Didn't wasn't the instructions play a recording from all play a recording from either me or Tomora, not just yell. I feel like that if Spinner just would have ran around the corner and pressed play or something, it might have been too late. But him yelling Kuro Gary, he like if Mike does do that and don't and just domes. Wow. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Do you think Mike can die? You think Spinner would kill him? I'm assuming there's some level of get Kuro Giri out of the hospital before playing the recording. That would make sense, but that would make sense. But I, I don't know. May I think I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even risk it because, because it like anything could be happening. I would just play the recording because the only reason why they're not worried I don't think they have his quirk deactivated. No, they don't. I think um, the only reason why he's just chilling is because he don't have no instructions. So, like, if Spinner does have the capability to just play something, I would just run in there and play something because at that point, he could just teleport me and him just out of this room. And and we're and we're gone. Like, we don't even have to we don't even have to worry about trying to, like, exfil. Like we don't need to do that. We don't like we like he like we're gone just like that. If Mike does that, Mike is MVP. But if Mike does that, does Spinner break or does Spinner kill him? I can see Spinner killing him. I don't want him to. I don't want that to happen. I don't want Mike to go. If Mike kills Shirakuma, I think he's I think he's a goner. I think he's truly a goner if he kills if he kills Shirakuma. <laughs> so next then yeah. I'm trying to think like would 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 you write Mike killing Shirakuma and dying for it? 
Is there any chance that Shirakumo can come back? Like to to come like to be sentient? No, right? I'm thinking like what it like what if like what if what if Spinner activates Kuro Gary and then bodies Mike and uh, from seeing a dead Mike? Yes, I'm. I don't know. That's I'm like he's dead. Like he's gone, right? Like he is gone. This is weird because he's gone, but they're still like they still can get through to him. That's weird. Like, how does that work? Like, sure, like he's like he's done, so. God, I need to read Vigilantes. I still haven't. I need to. Need to. I just need to just read Vigilantes. I can see Mike going. As I stationed him near the protected students, so I'm dying so far away from them without having done that yet. Doesn't feel quite right. Right. I feel like Aizawa put him there. Yes, but I think the point of of us knowing. That's the reason why he put Mike there was for that moment of Mike looking up at Shoji like, like Aizawa, like you want me to be here to protect these kids, but these kids have already surpassed us. I feel like that's what, that's what that moment was for to visualize that these kids have their heads on their shoulders the right way. They're doing so much. And that's such a Mike thing to say too, because Mike has spent the most time with Garaki. So like he's listening to Garaki continually talk about all this singularity stuff. But of course you listen to someone that's crazy enough. The things that they say might, might echo in your brain a little bit, even if you don't believe them. So like he shoots the line out there, like each generation, these kids are supposed to get stronger and this, this and that. You see him looking up at Shoji. He's like, dude, I ain't, like he I can't even call them kids like that's what he's saying like I can't even call them kids like they like they've already like way past where we were like he was like we were idiots in school we were three dumbos <laughs> we were like me you and Shirakumo were three dumbos in school and look at these kids dealing with the weight of the world on their shoulders and they're they're not cracking under the pressure like like I'm pretty sure Mike is, Mike is thinking of him and him and Aizawa and he's like, dude, we're grown men and the prospect of looking at our friend tears us down. Like, could we have dealt with what we're dealing with back then? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure these are things Mike possibly could be thinking. I feel like it's cool. I, I feel like that's really cool. Maybe I'm having such a hard time visualizing him dying. He near he does narrate so much, but there's a chance that um we have to get the whole. I feel like with the whole narration thing, is the series started off being narrated by Deku, and then it switched the mic because it felt like Deku in the future talking to someone about the past, and then it switches the mic because Deku. I feel like it'd be weird to keep having Deku talk over the series. So we switched the mic, but I feel like what if we get to the point where it's not Mike voicing over the series anymore and um, Deku comes into the place of being able to tell the story because he's in a spot of being the strongest at this point, because there's no question about it that Deku is the strong Deku is 16 and right now he, he is the strongest hero as it stands and I'll say he's the strongest hero in Japan. I'm not going to say in the world. He's the strongest hero in Japan as it stands. There's still people with busted abilities, but as far as putting in the work, it's 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 between him, Endeavor, Hawk, like right now Endeavor and Hawks, they're like a permanent team if they survive this. I don't think they can operate not together anymore. Um <laughs> Like those two together might be might they might I don't know and and then you got Genus who s still hasn't recovered from his injuries. Um, 
Oh boy. I don't doubt Spinner's ability to kill him. No, I don't either. We just seen him crush a cop after all. Yeah. I doubt Mike's ability to not get killed by Spinner. Yeah. I It's just like will is will a full like will a shout from Mike stop Spinner? Would it stop a spinner that's like not in he's not all the way here he's been enhanced by all these quirks would would a scream stop him i don't he's not I, mike's not gonna outrun spinner unless someone else is supposed to be coming through to our knowledge there is no one else that should pop up no uh i can't say that there's a ton of heroes everywhere but to my knowledge, there is no one else here to save Mike. And Mike doesn't, he doesn't have the tools to deal with, with Spinner. This feels like a, I'm here. They, they can't get him on the battlefield because if, if Kuro Gary gets put back into the play on the villain side, that's a GG regard. Like that's a GG for the heroes. Because you now have the ability to just circumvent every single plan that the heroes have come up with. It's it's a literal GG. So unless Mike kills kills Shirakumo Kirogiri here, I I don't know, I don't know. And if he does that, then what is what else is he gonna do? Like what else is he gonna do? He can't get, unless someone saves him, he's not going to be able to get away. He cannot run Spinner. He's not stronger than Spinner. There's only but so much that Mike would do. Right now, you know what this feels like? You know what this feels like? This would feel like um, TN versus Cell. Where it's like, TN's tri-beam can keep Cell right here. It's not going to hurt Cell. It's not going to kill Cell. But it's got him locked down right here. So, yeah, I feel like Mike can shout and maybe keep Spinner from approaching. But its not, I don't think it's going to hurt Spinner or deter Spinner or make Spinner turn away. And Mike is can only yell but for so much. So maybe he yells and then he stops. Spinner approaches more. He yells again. This is a straight TN and Cell moment where it's just like, as long as TN has the energy to keep shooting the tri beam at Cell, he's good. He's fine. The moment he stops, Cell's on him like that, and it's game over. And that's exactly how that situation played out. We just had a Goku there <laughs> to instant transmission here, but our Goku, our Midoriya, is not going to be able to save Mike. He's he's got he's got bigger fish to fry. He's got bigger fish. Like, he's got something else on his plate. Um, Mario's there, there. The big three, they're all down for the count. Um, I Like, all the big players are dealing with the two the two villains. There is no uh, no other person unless unless Shoji followed, fo followed like, per continued to pursue Spinner. Unless that's the case, unless Shoji continued to pursue Spinner, it's like Spinner dipped off and Shoji like hit the ground and tried to keep going. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what Lizard's hearing is like and how this affects sounds attack. Yeah, how sound attacks would be. Spinner has sensitive or poor hearing. It could turn the tide a lot. Yeah, I don't know. That's a gecko, though. But Spinner is a gecko, right? Like, his quirk is gecko. Right? 
I'm pretty like his quirk is Gecko, right? Wiki. Yeah, his quirk is Gecko. Loud noises affect geckos. Yeah, are geckos not lizards? Yeah, but I um, I wanted to see specifically because I don't know. Maybe geckos are, maybe like certain li like one lizard is super sensitive and then another one isn't, and then another one is something else. I don't know. So I just wanted to be sure. I'm like, all right, like because when I put, I just Google searched are lizard sensitive to sounds, and the first thing that pops up are like loud noises affect um geckos. I'm like, I was like, I don't want to just go look at something for geckos and be like, oh yeah, spinner get affected. And I'm like, wait, but spinner's a gecko. So may maybe this is like good matchup for Mike. <laughs> maybe this is an actual good matchup for Mike. Maybe Mike can yell and blow his eardrums out or something. I don't know. Would that be enough to stop him still? So maybe, may, maybe, maybe Mike has a chance. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. This is a good chapter, though, I will say. So, so Coda, we were, we were thinking that Coda was going to, oh, uh, we are talking about an interesting thing on... I don't even know who that is. Last week, that may be the reason why Spinner's followers aren't behind him. It's because he barreled through the medical team in such a way that it stopped them in the tracks. Yeah, there's guys on this panel right here. There's like three guys on his right hand side. Oh, there's guys on his left hand side too. No, that's one. That's one hundred percent. That's one hundred percent it. That's one hundred percent what happened. Um, that's one hundred percent. That's one hundred percent it. I think that's what happened. I didn't even realize what I was looking at, but thank you. But yeah, it's weird. It's like I look at stuff, I process it, I either just don't think of it. And then I just keep going. But then as soon as someone says something, I'm like, oh, yeah, that page, there was a panel on the road. Yeah, you have you have Spinner. Spinner comes barreling through, slams the cop. There's people right here. There's people right here. And these two guys, I want to say. I don't want to say they're those two guys, but they're two guys. So he barrels through, he slams the cop. It shocks them because we have to remember that um that the heteromorphs these aren't like the league of villains or the paranormal liberation front a lot of these people are just heteromorphs that live in in japan that feel the, the um discrimination daily and saw spinner as like some figure that they can follow and get retribution they're not like these hard like hardened evil people they're just people that just are fed up with how the world has been treating them, how their lives are. So it's like seeing all this brutality and all this stuff, like it's it's not for the faint of heart, especially for people that have surrendered, that aren't trying to fight back. Like maybe it's like maybe they're fine fighting if people are trying to fight back against them, like authority. But they just ran in this hospital and these people have surrendered and posed them no threat. And Spinner just runs straight through them. Like, I, I'm going to assume that the, they're all dead. That's my assumption because he he smashed through the cop. And all these people are shocked. But then you look at this panel. And you have these same people looking at this destruction. Thinking back on what Shoji said. Knowing what happens in a hospital that people take care of people feel like what this panel is depicting is a heteromorph taking care of someone that is not a heteromorph and this person in the bed doesn't care that this doctor is a heteromorph or anything else like we're receiving care it doesn't matter like all that prejudice and discrimination is not across the board 100 everyone 
And then right here, you look at this right here, they all stop. They none of them are running anymore. They're they're not moving. I'm trying to find the the scene right here. I really that's I really like that. Wow. And 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 now maybe I'm just trying to see how layouts are. Like, I'm wondering, like, was, could, could Mike have been in the room, thought about killing him and didn't, and then left, and now Spinner's barreling through here? Could that be the case? I don't know. I don't know. Do you think he already did it? No, he wouldn't be yelling Shirokumo. That's too much acting. I'll be crazy. Like, what if he already did it? Like, what if he already killed him? Or shot him in the ear or something. I don't know. What if he blew Shirokumo? What if he blew Carl Gary's eardrums? So he can't hear. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of anything. I, I'm also trying to figure out um, just logistically how this is happening. Because we. Um, Mike was on the ground. Mike was on the ground looking at. Looking at Shoji and Spinner face off like he was down here. And then we go from that panel to Shoji punching him. And then after Shoji punches him, Spin like Shoji lets out his cry and then Spinner lets his cry back off. And then like him flying back into the building, he like hits it and then bounces through and just pushes off to the hospital. And essentially what it what it seems like is he goes f straight from the air, just straight through the front entrance, like boom, and then he lands. So it's like, how, like, is Mike an Olympic sprinter? Or like, Mike couldn't have been down there watching, right? Because he, because if I'm to assume this correct, it, and it, it's absolutely nutty, because if we're saying that all these people, like stopped at the destruction that Spinner was doing. And Mike just pushed, like ran past them. Like if Spinner was a little bit ahead of him and, and Mike was back there, like dipping and diving past all the, the death and destruction. And you get to these panels down here on page 13. And when he, when you see Spinner looking back and no one's there, I think he's looking back and then Mike is running up and Mike is like, Shoji must've gotten through to them. And he's like, listen, that guy in there ain't going to be your ace in the hole. And then Mike is running up and then Spinner tries to turn back around to go through. I wonder. Like, that's. Like, that's why I'm trying to figure out the logistics of how this is going. OK, I, I missed this down here on page 12. Cause I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, well, how the hell did the, the wall get opened up? And on page 12, 
spinner must have just ran straight through straight through the where the entrance was mike must have been hightailing it man mike was hightailing it <laughs> mike was hightailing it i wonder i'm very curious as to how we're doing this i'm very curious as to what's gonna happen boy i am all right i think i'm gonna call it there i think i am i don't know if there's anything else coda's coda's um horns growing in it's effective we uh, i feel like i was saying that and then i got distracted um yeah coda we were thinking all these like extra astronomical things and it's just i can get more animals <laughs> it's his his sense goes further so but but the whole thing is that he let me hold on yeah it's just farther away so that means he would have to, like if something was going down he would have to be preparing in advance for the for these animals to be coming through my theory was once again kind of uh, once again correct kind of it's just a little bit it was it was i like it though i like the hitchcock birds translation for his attack just that reference knowing um the source material i you know what i hope i hope these birds pecked him to death this guy deserves to die this is the this guy was a part of the murder squad that um killed midnight that murder squad that was running towards her like he was there he wasn't the guy with the tube that jumped at her that we see in the manga but the the guy like the, this guy he was there like he was there he deserves to get pecked to death peck him to death pluck his eyeballs out pluck his tongue out just just pluck straight through his eyes and then eat his brains do it I'm, 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 he needs to go he needs to go <sighs> all right yeah i think i'm calling it um thank you guys um for hanging out impromptu I know there's no chapter this week, but there's going to be a chapter next week. Chapter 373. It's crazy. 373. Um, oh, no, I have a question. Uh, maybe this is the last thing we um I can float out here before we um before we um wrap up. How how many more? How many more plot lines need to be wrapped up before the end of this? Like pertinent, like I need this answered. This has to be answered or it doesn't make sense if the series ends. How many more do we need? After like we got our Shoji mini arc, um, we got that. I, I'm i trying to think of everything else that's left open ended that we that's not currently going on that we know that we that's not even like being addressed like the Todoroki stuff the Endeavor family stuff um like that stuff is going to get its conclusion when we get back to that battle like I feel like outside of like the battles that already are in progress like our like our Shoto Dabi part two like that battle's happening um Togo versus Ochako, that battle's like we haven't been back there. Like that battle was set up and Deku left the battlefield and we left with him. Um All Might Dying a Horrible Death. Like that too. My I want I also want to think about that. Also Aoyama's battle. He just he needs to stay in jail. Um and Compress needs to show back up too. He's in jail though. Compress is in jail. Uh, right? He didn't get broken out with with the Tartarus stuff. They took him they took him into custody. So he's in jail. So unless unless Sherikumo Shikuro Gary gets out and we're able to get compressed 
and then have the League of Villains like show back up. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm 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 being like very transparent. If I don't care if it doesn't make sense or not. I want I want uh we already got our like Avengers style splash screen with all the heroes on one panel and then all the villains on another panel. But I want but I want a, a splash screen of the League of Villains versus each and every single corresponding hero that's supposed to fight them. Like your Kubo splash screen. I want that. I want to see that. I want to see Deku and Bakugo up here. Mainly, I just want Deku, but I'm not going to exclude Bakugo. I would love to see Deku and Bakugo, but Bakugo's somewhere laying down, choking on his own blood. Never Deku and Shigaraki, Ochako and Toga, um, Dobby and Shoto. I just want I just want that panel. Compress and whoever matches up with Compress. Like I just I just want I want that panel. Can so I don't I would pay someone to just draw that panel. It's fantasy. I just want that panel. Like what like reading um Seven Deadly Sins, reading Taizai, I was waiting for the moment. Yastain is still somewhere. Like I was waiting for the moment where we got our splash screen, our full spread of all the sins. And it took until the end of the series to get it. And then we got a bunch of them. I saved them all. But it's like we finally got it. And I'm like, that's what I've been waiting for. I want that. I just want the League of Villains. Because the League has grown to the Paranormal Liberation Front and all of these things, absorbed all of these things. But I want to like reduce it back down to... Shigaraki, Dobby, Compress, Toga, we can't do twice. Spinners might get body, but it just might be those four now. Uh, I think about it. Wow, that's crazy. Just those four, and then our four. It would have it would have to be it would have to be Deku, Shoto, Bakugo, and probably Ochiko. That makes the most sense. I feel it makes the most sense. The logic I'm using is. The one panel that I'll never forget that was so dope when I first read it. And then when you finally find out who Compress is, I'm like that panel. It's like it retroactively means so much more. It's the panel after um, Deku beats up Overhaul and they're taking Overhaul into custody. And Shigaraki is in the middle and Compress and Dobby are on either side of him. And at that point, it's not confirmed in series who Compress and Dobby are. And, but we had, but we know who Shigaraki is. I think I have that panel saved. These are all my old pictures, so I should still have it. And it's just like retroactively, when you find out that Dobby is the son of Endeavor, when you find out Compress is a um, descendant of Oji Harima, and you hear all of the, like you know that Oji Harima, all for one, and Destro were the big three people back at the beginning of like the onset of Quirks and stuff, and how important those figures were for the villains and not for the villains for the not good side like seeing all of those people together it just made that panel so much better so it's like it only makes sense for like the next generation to be like bakugo um deku shoto and then toga is going to be there as well and we still need to resolve the Ochiko and Toga stuff. And Ochiko's grown so much. And result of Toga, I feel like you match that up too. And give us our 4v4, please. I can't find the panel. Let me make the, the icons bigger. Uh, it's at large. Extra large. I want to say I should have it. Even though these five, like, it's only up to June of this past year. I remember saving it. So I should still have it. My bad, y'all. I can't wait how people are gonna react during the Dark Deku arc when, when um, when Class One A shows up for him and he turns to them. I want to know how they're gonna like animate that. How are they gonna animate the head to head? That's what I want to know. People are going to freak out. 
The whole this whole dark deco arc that's coming up, people are gonna freak out. Stain is also still somewhere. That's true too. Apparently, Hori said Compress would um come back. I heard that um secondhand. It would make sense for Compress to show up. Like you don't you don't make Compress the descendant of Oji Hadima and just oh he's in jail for the rest of the series. I don't think you do that. So I feel like he's gonna come back in some form or fashion. How I don't know. I feel like you will. People are going to be mad when Midori becomes the focus of the series for an entire arc. Oh, 100%. That, that, like, they're going to be pissed off. I'm trying, I, whenever, when he starts to pop off in the next couple episodes, he should start popping off in two episodes, two or three episodes. He should be popping off. And how they, how they animated Endeavor versus Shigaraki and how it showed the perspective of us watching endeavor and shigaraki fight in the sky like the people in the ground i i want that moment because there's a moment in the manga where we cut away from deku and shigaraki but hori draws it so you still see deku flying around in the sky going crazy as bakugo endeavor and shoto are coming up with a plan because bakugo's like the kid's gonna eat like deku's gonna kill himself this is a battle of attrition and he's and he's not gonna get him before Shigaraki dies. And there's it's, it's the whole I just read it. That's why it's so fresh in my brain. It's the whole thing where Bakugo is like barking orders, like I'm gonna be on your side. You're gonna be on his, his side. You keep him cold up there. Endeavor, you do nothing. He's gonna he's gonna go away from Shigaraki and try to build up more momentum to come back in him again. When he goes back, you slide in there and you prominence burn him. And Endeavor is like, all right, I got you. Like, just leave it up to me. And it's exactly, and then we cut back to Deku flying around. And then he goes back and then they slide Endeavor in there. And that, and that's when it, like, I, I want that. I can't wait to see that. Like, how are people going to react when it's more than one moment? Because it's like all, a lot of Deku's fights, people chalk it up to one moment. It's one moment. Like the it's the one punch when he hit overhaul with the big one punch man fist. It's the one punch against muscular. Like, what are we gonna like when we go from it's gonna be like it should be movie quality, just manipulation in the sky, just firing off on Shigaraki for it, that scene should last for half an episode while everything is happening around it. And then the episode's going to end, and then he's still going to keep trying to do things. And then at that point on, he's just going to be just whooping people for the next eight episodes. I I want to see how people are going to react to that. Like, that's, I can't wait for that. Like, put, like, I'm, I'm sick of, I'm going to be sick of the people saying that he's, because he's going to cry in the next couple episodes, and people are going to be like, oh, he's crying again. And then when he don't cry no more. And then when he when he when he kicks All Might to the curb, he kicks his friends to the curb, he kicks everybody to the curb, and he's just mopping people up every single day, day and night. What are you gonna say then? We gonna say then? They're gonna hate it for sure, one hundred percent. They are. But it's just like it's good. I want it to be like some humble pie, where it's just like Deku's not the little whiny boy that you that used to be in the series anymore effectively that deku's gone <laughs> it's kind of sad because i don't want that boy to be that way but he need like he's that that cry baby boy he's not there no more he's not there anymore i feel like the only levity honestly the only levity that deku gives you um i hope so too i hope so too i would much rather I would much rather just get more stuff with Dark Deku. I hope I hope we just get more, expand some more things. Like the anime always is filling in like extra parts to a fight to make it feel a little better. Like they did they Endeavor gets the most love from this team. It feels like all of his fights always get the little juicy stuff added to it. Like he gets extra stuff in season two. And season three and stuff where it's just like that wasn't in the manga but it was cool as hell he gets all of that give us a little bit of that because with the dark deku arc we we had all the people that offer and hired and deku like really went on a, like we didn't see it 
he off screen like two or three two or three of them until he ran in the dictator and they they do that whole thing like i feel like that's like i reread the dark deco arc very recently that's where you can feel like the unnatural crunch right i still liked it but it was clear that this was obviously going to be a couple of more chapters than this one chapter because it's i can't remember what chapter it was you might be able to pull in the number faster than i can but it literally starts off it's after he he leaves all might and all might's like i need to tell you that you can rest he tries to reach out for him he doesn't that's when we get the the um shot of stain listening to the conversation behind the um behind wherever he was and then it goes into like this uh, we cut away from deku it's the heroes talking and then all might either calls them and is like deku found another one he are the battle's over he beat him and then it's that cold panel of deku standing up there like he's got the dude yoked up and he's just hanging there and he's like and no that happens before that matter of fact before he leaves all might and he's like he had no information i'm leaving boom he takes off and all might stops him and then that's when he leaves all might but then it goes through this whole monologue of deku like i had to leave everyone i had to give everything up i had to push everyone away because of everything that's happening like i had to do this this is after matter of fact this is after the villa too which is like it pushed them even further so he's just like so he's like i have to keep going and then like the all for one um words keep echoing like you're next yada 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 and then it just he's, you just get like little panels of embodying people and then you get the panel of him standing there and it's got all the classmates back there and then we're at dictator it's clear like this is going to be more we were going to explore more in this chapter way more this at least could have been at least another five or six chapters i feel like the dark deku stuff should have been two volumes it's about a volume because like counting the um it's counting the um sniper lady oh my gosh counting her counting her it's about a volume counting all that stuff it's about a volume a little bit more than a volume nagan thank you i can not couldn't think of her name it we it should have been at least two volumes a little more than two volumes about three the dark deku stuff it should have gone on the dark deku arc should have been like a calendar if we're like if we're if i'm being greedy the dark deku stuff should have been a full calendar year it should have been a full calendar year it was about half a year i want to say it was just about half a year from 306 to 306 to not even half a year no it was about half a year from from 306 to whenever um they get through to him after the dictator fight um i'm pretty sure like it was about half a year it should have been a full calendar year like we should have spent more i and it's terrible because i don't want deku to be like that i hate it seeing him like that if i'm being honest but it should have been a year like we should have had a full calendar year of suffering with like we should have been able to experience his suffer a little bit more i feel like it i feel like it was effective it would have been more effective but i but i don't know how popular the dark deku arc was in japan i know the war was extremely successful and popular but i don't know how popular all the dark deku stuff was and maybe hori either editor stuff or maybe i know the editor stuff happened when they got like Nagant, I feel like Nagant was supposed to be way more than what she got. And I know, I know for a fact that was editor stuff, but I don't know if the Dark Deku stuff got shortened because of editor stuff, or maybe Hori just being like, maybe they don't like all this dark stuff, even though I want to do this dark stuff. So I'll try to get through it as quick as possible without fully sacrificing everything. I don't know. Um But yeah, I I can't wait. This sixth season is going to be incredible. and But the thing is, is coming off the sixth season, I was saying this thinking that next se that seven, season seven was going to be the finale of the series. 
um i still think um i'm i love um i one day it'll happen hopefully eventually um i would want i feel like it's like as we sit here right now season season eight is the last season depend depending on how fur how much further we go 50 more episodes will capture the finality of my hero like just picking up where where season seven will start and where season seven will end i don't i don't think we know where season seven ends yet <laughs> that's what's crazy i don't think we know where season seven ends yet because the first the first half of if this season ends on star like if the if the final episode of this season is 334 the finale of the star battle and um new order wreaking havoc inside of all for one if that is the final episode of season seven that means we are fighting again episode five of season eight no of season seven i'm stupid no my bad that means we are fighting again we get our nice avenger style splash screen that's like the fourth or fifth episode because the aoyama stuff is two two episodes three three episodes at the most you could do it in you could do the aoyama stuff in two episodes you might lose a little bit of the fat but you could do the aoyama stuff in two be comfortable for four episodes and then because you're gonna do i feel like you do the aoyama stuff you're gonna do the aoyama stuff in two i say two and a half episodes second half of that third episode is the toga stuff with the do the dobby and toga conversation and you get more on toga um you um you then go into the rest of the the day before the storm with the um everyone getting ready in the Ochiko and Deku conversation. That's episode five. And then you get your you get you start off the next episode with All for One showing up in front of Aoyama. And then boom, we're fighting. And then it's just fighting from there on out. Like I don't know where you end like where do you end season seven? You start fighting in season, episode six. I'm I'm taking a guess. The Shoto stuff is happening. Shoto and Dobby stuff is happening. Like episode not six, not seven. It's happening. That stuff's happening in episode eight. The Shoto and Dobby fight starting in eight. Then at and then episode nine, we're intercutting between the Shoto Dobby stuff, Deku flying across the ocean, um, UA stuff. 10, 11, 12, Deku should be showing up at UA by then. Right? And then I feel like the gear shift stuff is maybe episode 15, 16. 15, 16 ish is gear shift, maybe. And then we're right here. Like, we're not even at, we're, we're still in season seven. And, I, and I'm following, I'm trying to think of the pace that this season is taking we're still in season seven like we're close that's why i feel like i love my hero once a year i think we should push it i think it's 2022 now i don't i feel like we shouldn't get we should get season seven of my hero spring 2024 because by spring 2024 my hero should be finished so at that point just push the season off to spring 2024 and then spring and then spring fall because you start in spring it's going to end at the start of winter yeah no 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 I'm gonna, it's going to end at fall the start of fall you go fall spring it comes back i bring it i i stay spring i would i would do a year and a half instead of a year I would I would I would do a year and a half instead of a year. So season seven I would bring back spring of 2024 and then I would bring back season eight, which would be the final season if this series ends anytime soon. It would be and season eight would be the final season and I would have season eight 
come back spring 2026 and i would have season eight be like movie quality thrown through i would i would spend the bag that that's just me because because if you spend the bag with it being the finale of my hero everyone's gonna watch it even the people that hate my hero will watch my the final season of something that's something i've learned being on the internet as much as people hate stuff if it's the finale of something they'll watch it to see how good it is i would throw the whole bag at it i would throw every single penny that we have to make that thing look like a movie for 25 episodes that's what i would do and then and then ride that thing off to the sun strip sunset sun strip ride that thing off into the sunset and then milk my hero with all the movies and everything you want to do just don't give us a blow to level part two that's it um i'm calling it i gotta do i'm gundam <laughs> thank you guys i'm just babbling i knew i knew i could find something to talk about 15 minutes um thank you guys <laughs> i appreciate you for hanging out with me um we should be back on schedule hopefully we should be back on schedule next sunday so we should be back here for 373 um thank you guys have a good rest of your sunday or um monday wherever you are have a good week coming up good weekend upcoming at the end of the week and hopefully god willing see you guys back here next sunday for 373 so thank you again i appreciate you and i'll see you peace out